Hey. Hey. Okay. Here's the deal. I'm going to stay positive because there's not a damn thing I can do about what's going on right now. And uh, if you can't change it, accept it. Can't change it at the moment. I don't have a car anymore. Um, it was the timing belt. My car messed... Oh, this is Mitzi with Mitz Adventures. i got to get used to saying that at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> so this is Mitzi with Mitz, Mitz Adventures. And uh, anyway, my car, uh, the timing belt, went out. And when it came loose, uh, I don't really know the technical terms, but it made it sound like... Uh, slammed around and tore up a bunch of stuff, which they do sometimes, and it uh, needs a new engine, basically. Uh, this car is not, does not uh, deserve a new engine. I mean, it would cost almost as much as I paid for the car to put a new engine in, or a used engine. He said he could get a used engine. But it's like $2,500 or some ridiculous amount, and that's, that is a little less than what I paid for it, but I mean, it's a 2008 HHR. I don't see putting, he said after that, it could be the transmission, which is real expensive. He said there's, his advice was not to fix it. My thought was not to fix it. Everyone I speak to says it's probably not worth it, so I'm not going to fix it. So I have no car now. And, uh, the only way you can look at it, since I can't fix that or change it, is, uh, the universe heard me saying I need something bigger, so it took the little one away. <laughs> and it's gonna find me something bigger, as soon as I can uh, save up and afford it. So I'm back, gonna go back to the basement, um... I keep calling it the basement. It's not like I'm living in some dingy little basement. Uh, it's a finished basement that my longtime childhood friend is letting me rent his basement. Uh, that's where I was before. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to stay there. I'm back there now. Surprise, Brian. You're getting your roommate back <laughs> a little while. Uh, it's going to take a while because, of course, I can't work if I don't have a car. And if I can't work, that means it's going to take quite a while to save up the money to get a car. Because my credit sucks. I have... It would be better if I had no credit. I have bad credit. Um, I can't have a bank account. I can't even have PayPal. And I won't go into detail on why my credit's so bad, just suffice it to say. It's another thing I can't change. My credit sucks. So, I get my social security check on a debit card. I couldn't even have it go straight to a bank, because I can't have a bank account. Because uh, I owe the bank too much money. So, uh, yeah, it's going to take a while to save up for it. So, uh, if... Uh, if you're following me because, and now I won't hold this against you if you unfollow me, because I know I have followed people before because I want to know how it is on the road and stuff, and I know one person I stopped following because she decided to live permanently in an RV, uh, um, what do you call those places? You know, where you, it's almost like a mobile home park, but it's for RVs, and it's a monthly rent and she's staying there. And that doesn't interest me yet. First of all, I don't ever plan on having an RV. So, but the traveling is what interests me. So, you know, if you're not interested, uh, you don't want to stick around for the <laughs> long time it may take me to get a vehicle and do this thing, I understand completely. Completely. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Or how I'm going to make this work because I don't make a whole lot of uh, money on Social Security to where I can save. I spent most of my, uh, I had a small Schwab account. I spent most of it on a vehicle so I could buy that vehicle. And I don't have any left in my Schwab account. I closed it out. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, for now, 
had to let that job go. Um, I'm going to move back into the basement and maybe I'll try to sell some of my art or something, get more into that. I, I have to figure out a way to make extra money <laughs> is what it comes down to. So, well, we'll just see how it goes. And uh, thank you all for uh, being so uh, kind and for all the nice comments. I appreciate your comments on my videos. Um, I'm not going to stop making them. I'm not sure what I'm going to make, though. It's kind of a letdown, for sure. You know, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. But, uh, it'll get better. Things change. So, eventually, I'll have a vehicle, and I'm going to continue. And I do pretty much, I pretty much decided I need something bigger, because I just am too heavy to be able to move around comfortably in that little, uh, the HHR. So, uh, try to get a minivan or a small van or something. But uh, for now, that's that's where I stand. So I wanted to let you know as soon as I could. I don't know what to say. Um, I, I am following my bliss still. I just am going to have to follow it a little bit slower now. And it'll take a little bit longer. But uh, I'll get there. I still have that goal in mind, so I'll, I'll get there eventually. And until then, whoever does stick with me, I'll, I'll talk to you next time. And stay positive, you know, accept what happens and just do the best you can with it. That's all we can do. Um, I'm a, a strong believer in uh, good things coming out of positive thinking. So I'm just going to keep trying to think positive and see what happens next. Life is an adventure, whether you're moving through it or sitting watching it go by. Either way, it's an adventure, so I'm just going to sit and uh, watch it happen <laughs> until something else happens. The good thing is I'll know where everything is. If I do post, I'll probably be able to wear makeup and <laughs> look semi-decent each time. Who knows? Um, but, um, I've enjoyed you all, and, and I hope I can continue to enjoy you while I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Love you, take care, follow your bliss, and, uh, stay happy. Love you all. Bye.